What's up, UConn fans? Mediocre Dan here, breaking down some more game film for us. Tonight is our Huskies head to Providence to take on the Friars. Fresh off their Big East regular season championship. They got to hang a banner for that last year. Congrats to them. Um, you know, I'm just saying it was a, it was a great accomplishment. But um, in all seriousness, Ed Cooley has a fantastic team this season. It's probably a better team than the team that won, that won the regular season for them last year. And it all begins with two key transfers that Cooley brought in from the portal this year, starting with Bryce Hopkins, a 6'7 power forward transfer from Kentucky. Uh, he is going to be a tough assignment tonight for whoever gets him. Hurley has hinted through Borges that it's going to be Alex Caravan, which will be interesting to watch because Caravan really struggled at the four spot against Xavier and Zach Fremantle. Uh, not the exact same player, but a similar offensive profile as Hopkins has. Uh, although, don't be surprised if that was maybe a little bit of gamesmanship and we see Andre Jackson draw some defensive assignment on Hopkins tonight, especially if Caravan gets torched early. But um, what does Hopkins do? I mean, he is a three levels player he can shoot the three ball he has a great stroke he's only made 10 on the season but he has the ability to get to the hoop he loves to drive and iso try to draw contact down low he also has a nice mid-range game as well so there's a lot of different ways that hopkins can try to beat us tonight taking him out is going to be step one from a defensive side for us and then another piece that cooley was able to bring in this year was devin carter a 6-3 sophomore transfer from south carolina he is starting to really play well as of late especially on the offensive side of the ball in conference play he has the ability like hopkins to hit the three-pointer but his bread and butter and really the bread and butter for the entire providence team is trying to get downhill to the hoop draw contact get to the free throw line finish tough layups in and around uh, the paint and that is going to be his plan tonight and really providence is probably offensive game plan this evening so what does that mean try to take those two obviously out of the game that goes without saying but let's let guys like uh, Croswell, their undersized center, or Bynum, their undersized point guard, try to be the ones that beat us on the offensive side. We have the size and strength advantage at both those positions tonight. So really try to force them to make tough shots. And if they do, okay, fine, we live with it. Now, on our offensive side of the ball, it's going to be a battle. Providence is a really good defensive team, even though maybe some of the metrics aren't there yet. Uh, they've started to, to play more cohesively, especially during conference play. And UConn has struggled a little bit to score and shoot the ball during the, the start of the conference season. Now, if I pull up this shot chart here from UConn, this is their first four conference games. UConn shooting the ball very efficiently, very well, actually, at, at the rim and in the, in, in, in the paint over 58 and a half percent three points been a struggle for them only 34 percent from deep which is a 51.2 percent effective field goal percentage and for those who aren't familiar with what effective field goal percentage is it essentially takes um into account the fact that three pointers are worth 50 percent more than two point shots so a little bit of an explanation here on the screen for anyone who wants to pause this and read that uh, but what does that mean for us well, it means that we either need to A, make a higher percentage of three-pointers or get more shots in the paint. And if you look at this shot chart here, this is Providence defensive shot, shot chart. They let opponents score a lot down low. They don't have the size and the shot blocking ability. Yes, they have some length and athleticism down low, but what you're able to do against Providence is stretch their defense out on the floor with your offense and give your guards and your bigs an opportunity to work down low in one-on-one -on -one matchups. So here's a quick video from the Butler game earlier this season where Providence um, was able to really use their defense to lock them down and keep them from penetrating. The problem was Butler had too many players with their feet at the three-point line or inside the three-point line. Providence was able to really clog that up. Now, if you look at what teams like Marquette and TCU did, they were able to really stretch that Providence defense out and let their guards attack their guards in one-on-one -on -one situations and use high ball screens with their centers to move the Croswell and their bigs away from the hoop, allowing easier driving lanes for their guards. And I think that's really gonna be our key tonight. You know, Newton is a guy who has the ability to draw fouls. We just haven't seen it um, a lot in, in conference play, especially during Xavier, we could have really used that. Uh, and, and Hawkins, another guy who has the ability to get to the hoop. I think he's a fantastic finisher through contact in the paint. Those are two guys that I want to see us get going downhill towards the hoop early. Of course, don't take the three ball away, but we probably don't need over 35 three-point attempts tonight versus Providence. Settle for 25, maybe 30 if, if the looks are there. Um, but but 
focus on attacking the hoop, and then you could start kicking the ball out, playing inside out against this team. So for all the UConn fans making that trip into enemy hostile territory, good luck to you. Be loud. Again, like always, we'll be listening to you on TV. Likes, retweets, shares, subscribes always go a long way. Thanks so much for watching my video. Go UConn. Let's get this win. Get back on track.